Hey guys. Okay, what I'm doing right here is uh, I'm getting the uh, motherboard plate ready so I could uh, cut the holes for cable management. And also, I'm going to remove uh, this plate here that holds uh, one of the casings for the uh, for the hard drives. And the reason I'm doing that is in case someone wants to uh, upgrade the system, um, they have that option where, let's say, they put a new motherboard in, you know, and they use one of these. Uh, the video cards that are out there right now and some of them are like 10 inches long 13 inches long so you have enough room here for something like 12 13 inch uh, video card and that's the reason why I'm removing this uh, if I leave this one on you have enough room for two hard drives and you could oh, you also have the optic drive uh, bay drive here where you could uh, install a uh, adapter so you could put another hard drive. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put uh, two grommets, one here for the 24 pin for the uh, 24, 24 pin cables and I'm going to put another one over here for in case uh, and, you know the uh, person who decides to buy this case, if he wants to replace this motherboard with something uh, a little bit more, a little bit more advanced, where you could, you know, you have the video cards, you have this uh, this grommet here for um, for the video cards, and also I'm going to. It's really hard. You see, there's not a whole lot of room here for a standard ATX motherboard, where you could have, you know, add a hole. So it's going to be a small round hole, and this is going to be for the cables here, for the uh, reset, uh, start on, and some of the other small USB cables and stuff like that. If not, I'm going to add it right here. Uh, I really don't want to do that because the cables are just going to show, you know, coming out through here. So you got to find out if. Uh, if it's possible to do it right here on the bottom. Okay, I just removed the um, these uh, these things that were holding the uh, hard drive base, and um, I'm just gonna keep, like I said before, I'm just gonna keep the one over here, the uh, the first one. Uh, it's gonna hold two drives and also a card reader, USB, and some other connectors. Uh, the one here on the bottom. I'm not going to reinstall, I'm just going to leave it like that. That way, you know, in case anybody wants to install like a video camera, I mean a, <laughs> a video card, they're able to, especially one of these uh, large ones like a uh, 5870 or or 5970. Uh, as you can see, I was <laughs> kind of screwed up on the, uh, the measurements on these uh, grommet 
holes. So I got to redo this all over again. Uh, what I'm going to do is do it from the other side. Uh, I have plenty of room. I, I just don't want to take out this motherboard tray just yet. Uh, reason why is it's much easier to cut the holes using a uh, a uh, hole saw instead of uh, you know just removing the tray and then putting clamps on it. It's way harder to do it that way. Uh, doing it this way, where the motherboard tray is still installed in the case, is much easier to do. But I mean, it's unless you have like a nice workbench and you have a drill press and stuff like that, uh, then yeah, I would take the motherboard tray out. Once I did, I cut these holes. What I'm going to do is uh, remove the motherboard tray so I could uh, um, sand it and paint it afterwards. So what I'm going to do is do the initial cuts over here on this side of the tray. Um, it's much easier doing it that way, especially on this case. So, okay, I'll get to remeasure all these things over again, and I'll get back to you. Okay took some of the items uh, from the case apart, like the top and the bottom, so I could paint it. Uh, the whole chassis here, the uh, it's going to be the interior, it's gonna, all going to be black. So I'm just going to prep it, get it ready for painting. I need to sand it with 80 grid. And uh, here are the rest of the parts. Also I need to sand. And then... Uh, wash it, wash all the debris off. So, a lot of stuff to do. And, uh, you know, I still got a bunch of uh, other mods that I wanted to do to it, but I gotta wait and uh, finish painting it.